Everybody out here is hooked up with fish right now. Shoulder to shoulder. I'm a little scared to get that on that side because I may take a spoon to the head. Good morning, folks. Welcome to another video. It is about 6 a.m. here in Navarre, Florida. I'm actually walking out here to look at the beach, trying to make a decision whether I want to fish the beach today or the pier today. This time of year, all these fish are migrating down the beaches. So your best bet if you're coming down here is to fish the piers or the beaches. I want to go look at the water real quick before I make my decision. Hoo -hoo -hoo! It is beautiful out here today. Man, I haven't seen the water like this in a while. So it is flat calm for once. All right, there's the Navarre Beach Fishing Pier. It is a packed house. I haven't made a pier video this year, so we're going to the pier. All right, it looks good this morning. There's bound to be some fish. You've got Pensacola Pier is closed. Gulf Shores Pier is closed. So if you're coming down here and you want to pier fish, Navarre, Okaloosa are your only options. They're going to be packed out because these other piers are close. Just know that. It's going to be shoulder to shoulder. We got the cart loaded down, bringing several rods out here. Got our tackle, got some bait in there. Let's go see if we can catch some fish. There's a lot of fi uh, fishermen, but I'm not seeing many fish being caught right now. The water is clearing up really nicely. It's been super muddy out here lately, but today it looks really nice. That's good you are traveling down here and you're wanting to know how to fish these piers or what to target, what to use, check out my digital download. It is linked in my description and in the first comment. We created a very detailed digital download that goes over everything you need to know in order to be successful out here. It does cost a little money, but for what you're getting, it is really cheap. So folks, let me show you what we're going to be doing today. I've got two rods rigged up right now. One with an ES casting metal on my bummy stick, and that is in case we see like Spanish or bonitas or something come down the beach. Now this time of year, we do a lot of sight casting, especially when the water is this clear. And I also have a wacky jig tied on right there, and that is for pompano and different stuff like that. So we've been watching for about an hour right here on the beach, and we have not seen anything yet. What's up, Brent? How you doing, man? Doing all right? Appreciate your video. Yeah, no problem. You guys from around here? Uh, Navarre. Navarre? Okay, cool, yeah, my man. My son noticed you and was down there now. Like, <laughs> well, appreciate you watching. Yeah, thank you. It is a packed house out here. Good gracious. What's up, Brent? Hey, how you doing? There's an acre of fish coming down the beach right here. We're just kind of waiting on them to get here. Oh, I can almost, I can almost reach those. Hold on. Ah, we're going to be close. I mean, there is a massive wad of fish coming in right here. There we go. There we go. That's a good one too. This is actually a pretty decent fish right here, y'all. Check him out right here, folks. First Spanish of 2024, and it's a nice one. Let's get another one out there here. Oh, they're still here. <sighs> Oh, 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 they're coming in. Oh, he's on it. Oh, nesting. Come on. Golly.
Come on, come on. Yeah. There we go, right here, got him. Number two. Those are decent ones too. I'm not even gonna show you all these until they stop running because there's so many of them out here that um, I'm just gonna keep fishing. Like, there's a lot of them. <laughs> all right, let's see if you see what happens. There he is, got him. Oh, that's a decent one there. Heads up, flying fish. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got a route for me. <laughs> that is a, it is a long way, man. It is. Yep, no doubt. There's another big wad of them coming in down there. They're just kind of blowing up on top, chasing these baits. Just kind of waiting. Oh, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Were you here yesterday for the Pompano? No, I wasn't. Oh, you know, I, I, I was like, should I fish the beach or the pier? And I decided I don't fish the beach. I struck out. Probably should have came to the pier. <laughs> like 1,300. Oh, me and my dad were catching Spanish yeah. early in the morning. They turned off when we were leaving. Hundreds, they were pulling them up. There. Really? Man. Big dang. slabs, too. Well. Hopefully they're back today because Spanish the didn't make a run. I saw a little run come through here. Just five minutes we had a run. That was it. Good luck to you, man. Thank you. Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> what was yeah. your name? Devin. Nice meeting you. Nice you I'm going to walk over here and throw at these Spanish that are coming down the beach. So, y'all leaving? No, I'm no. Sure. Okay. I saw your truck in the parking lot and I was like, eh, I'm sure he'll show up eventually. <laughs> awesome. Nice to meet y'all. I have caught some Spanish, but there is another wad of them coming right here, so we may get some more. Those are in range right there. That's a bunch of them there if the dolphins don't run them off. Like, all right, I'm going for it. Oh, that's in them. If I don't get one there, I ain't getting one. May not get one. Get my GoPro on. There you go. There we go. There we go. Thank you, I appreciate it. What's up, man? How you doing? What's your name? Uh, Bryson. I, I've been watching your videos for years. Cool, man. Good to meet you. Good to meet you, too. Have you caught anything on here yet? Just some Spanish. I think I'm taking a Spanish break here. Got crazy out here. Wow. When the fish, when, when they start biting, huh? I mean, yeah, they're catching them down there now. Them. I'm just biting the right spot. <laughs> <laughs> they're down there. I mean, guys, everybody out here is hooked up with fish right now. It is shoulder to shoulder on the pier. It's wild. I'm a little scared to get that on that side because I may take a spoon to the head. All right. Let's try it again. There he is. Don't run that way. Good gracious. 
Going? Rocket going. Kind of a feeding frenzy out here, and there is just a never ending school of Spanish coming right now. I've caught as many as I need to catch. I'm just kind of hanging out and seeing if there'll be some pompano come through or something like that. Beautiful day on the Var Beach. I mean, the it is just, you couldn't ask for a better day in the spring. No wind, sun shining. I know I've told this story before, but right there, my grandfather, he owned a condo when I was a kid and we would, uh, we would stay in that condo all the time. So I grew up right here on this beach, fishing, hanging out. And now I work here. I fish, I make videos, I sell real estate right here in Navarre, <laughs> in Pensacola. All right, I guess I'm gonna throw now. If you came out here on Wednesday, the Spanish were fired up. Yeah. I heard, that's what I heard. I heard, yeah. I heard the Pompano were good yesterday, you too. It was like Come on. Wow. Yeah, that's a good day, huh? Yep. Oh, there we go. Finally, this bunch is smaller. How you doing? No. Mm -mm. It's somebody that stole all my content. I know. I know. It's crazy, ain't it? <laughs> and there's nothing you can do. Really? Wow. That's cool. Hey, how's it going? Hey, cool, man. I get a picture real quick? Not at all, man. All right. Yeah. Come on. Y'all from around here? Uh, Pensacola. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, man. Awesome. Hey, Appreciate it. hey representing. Yeah, yeah, I like it, dude. dude. Nice. Yeah. Well, folks, we are going to take these Spanish mackerel back oh, right man. now. What's happening? How y'all doing? I haven't seen another fish in like an hour. But I can tell you this. If you're coming down to Navarre, it is going to be a packed house right now. And if you ever do come down to the pier, that little restaurant at the base of the pier right there, got great burgers. And so you come out here and hang out at the pier, stop right there, grab you a drink, burger after you fish, makes for a good day. Whew. You know, I always love catching the first Spanish mackerel of the year because that means things are changing. We're getting back on more of a summer pattern because I feel like this winter's lasted about 10 years and I'm ready for it to be over. Another thing I like about Spanish is just how easy they are to clean. Usually you can just take the knife and run it right down the side like that. And I'm going to leave the skin on these guys just because uh, we're going to bake them. Look at that. Boom! Is that not like the easiest clean job imaginable right there? We will cut the rib cage out here. When I was running charters and I had a crew that wanted to catch Spanish, I always loved it because you get back to the dock, you got 15, 20 Spanish. They're so easy to clean. You just run right through them versus if we had, you know, a dozen sheep's head. That's another story. All right, so what we're going to do. is we are going to bake these guys with the skin on. What's nice about this outdoor kitchen that we have, you can wash all your fillets right here. You can clean the fish right here. And now we've got our Spanish right here. We're going to take them inside and cook them up. Let's start cooking. And the first thing I want to do is say Happy Easter to everyone out there. Here is what we are having for our Easter lunch. I've got the oven preheating right behind me. Here is our fresh caught Spanish mackerel. We're gonna start by seasoning these guys up with just some salt, some pepper, some Tony's. Gotta throw a little Tony's anytime I do fish. It just makes fish better. Next thing we're going to do is take some lemon juice and just squeeze it over the top. Oh, the oven it has preheated. 
And this is just a very simple way to do fish. Like I like mackerel like this, pompano like this. Uh, now this right here is shredded Parmesan cheese. And we are gonna top each piece with some Parmesan cheese. And of course, we cannot do this without butter. And so we are going to generously put butter all over these fish fillets. This is what it looks like right here. I'm gonna give you a kind of a, a close up. And then this is going in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, it is ready. Whoo! Y'all check this out right here. Now, a lot of people may be thinking, you don't put cheese on fish, but hey, I'll put cheese on darn near anything, okay? Here we go, folks. Here is our fresh Spanish mackerel. First Spanish mackerel of the year. And let's give it a shot. This just came out of the oven. That is such a delicious way to do fish. And I highly, the Parmesan cheese actually goes perfect with the butter and the lemon juice. And the, keeping the skin on with the Spanish, I highly recommend you trying this. And if you do try it, comment down below because it is really, really good. But I'm going to show you guys the star of the show right here. And it's not the Spanish mackerel. Check it out right here. Melanie made a homemade strawberry shortcake. So my family recently went strawberry picking just north of Milton. They got a whole bunch of strawberries. They were nice enough to give us some and Melanie made this delicious strawberry shortcake right here. She made a video with it that will be on her Instagram page, Bacon Grease Goddess. I am gonna link that in the description below and she will also have the recipe to this strawberry shortcake on her Instagram page as well. So if you wanna go see how she made this, go check that out after you watch this video. But I am gonna take a bite. Gotta get a little bit of everything here. We got the strawberry, the homemade whipped cream. This is not store-bought right here, folks. You can taste the difference in the homemade whipped cream. It is delicious. You've got the fresh roasted strawberries that is outstanding and the, the cake is very, very light. And so that's what I like about it. This is a 10 out of 10. So y'all go check out her Instagram page and it'll be on her YouTube shorts as well. Folks, if you enjoyed that video, please shoot me a big thumbs up and don't let the crowds out there on the pier discourage you from going out there and enjoying a day like I had today. It was uh, a lot of fun and there was a lot of fish to be caught. The weather's beautiful. The scenery is beautiful. Uh, you couldn't ask for a better spring break day here on the Florida Gulf Coast. Everything I'm involved with, link down in my description below. Like I said earlier, I am a licensed real estate agent right here along the Florida Gulf Coast. So if you need to buy or sell a property, uh, let me know and I'll be happy to help you out. And uh, if you are in the area and want to check out our outdoor store, Beach Bum Outdoors, stop by and check it out. We have a full tackle store with everything you need to be get geared up to go out there to the pier. So other than that, folks, we'll catch you next time.